You've got to love a good parade. Now, Garrett, I know most parades are typically on the weekends, but if you were just basing it purely off of weather, Wednesday, at least here in northern Utah, seems like pretty ideal weather for a parade. Oh yeah, absolutely. As long as you can dodge the afternoon showers and thunderstorm, then you should be golden. However, probably not going to be able to do that. However, if you're looking at the radar right now, you're going to notice a few showers and thunderstorms out there at the present time. A look to the north, we can see a lot of lightning strikes just to the east of Salt Lake City towards the Uintas. We're even seeing some up towards Uinta County as well. However, towards Vernil, we're seeing more dry conditions, but south of there, a few lightning strikes, even towards Moab and Blanding, a few lightning strikes out that direction as well as we continue to track showers and thunderstorms across the Beehive State shows maybe a little bit of a isolated sprinkle or two out towards St. George. However, I really think that's probably evaporating before it even makes it all the way down to the ground. Futurecast does show that we are going to be looking at these showers and thunderstorms actually continuing overnight tonight. However, we're really going to be looking at these starting to ramp up tomorrow afternoon starting right around 2 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We can see these showers and thunderstorms really riding right along I-15. Some of these could be on the strong to borderline severe side of things. If we did see any severe thunderstorm warnings with these, it would be for very tiny hail upwards of, I'd say, quarter size in that. But I'm really anticipating more winds and heavy downpours than anything with any of these. Heavy enough that we could be looking at the potential for flash flooding. Now, as far as future cast goes, it does show that these storms, they're not going to give up for a few days as we have that monsoonal moisture returning to the area. And as it does so, that's when we're going to be looking at these thunderstorms continuing in the afternoon towards the night hours. However, we take a look at the storm threat for tomorrow. We can see a general risk for thunderstorms across the entire Beehive State. Then the same goes for Tuesday, likely Wednesday as well as that moisture just continues working its way in from the south as that high pressure system that was giving us all that hot air and that happy weather maker. Well, it's actually moving towards the southern plains out towards Texas and Oklahoma, and that's allowing for us to have that moisture return to the area. Now, as far as excessive rainfall, now we're not really going to be expecting that. That's going to be towards Colorado. However, Flash flooding is not under that consideration. Flash flooding is going to be probable for all of these locations in southern Utah tomorrow and even going into Tuesday. Temperatures now mainly in the, I'm seeing 70s and 80s, however, still a couple 90s, such as Salt Lake City, St. George, 91 being the hot spot still in Moab at the present time. But lows tonight mainly going to fall down into the 60s, a few 70s sprinkled in, and St. George down to 80 tonight, but 100 for the high tomorrow in St. George and Moab as temperatures start to slowly fall. For the Wasatch Front, we're going to be looking at temperatures around 97 tomorrow, 94 on Tuesday, 86 though on Wednesday, so fairly comfortable temperatures. However, like Sarah mentioned a minute ago, if there was a parade midweek, comfortable temperatures, but you'd have to dodge the scattered thunderstorm chances through Wednesday. Becomes isolated Thursday, slight chance by Friday. Temperatures remaining in the low 90s by the weekend. However, for St. George, temperatures still on the hot side of things, but not as hot as temperatures fall into the mid-90s by Tuesday and Wednesday, but back to the triple digits by Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and 105 by Sunday. Sarah, back to you.